All right, so if you're looking to buy land, how much due diligence is enough? What kind of due diligence should you do? I'm gonna be talking about that. Now there's free things that you can do and then there's things that will cost a little bit of money. So I'll go with the things that will cost money. If you find a property on Facebook, if you find a property anywhere and you want to make sure that this property is free, it's clear, no issues, you have to go through a title company. Obviously that will cost, but if you really want to make sure everything's good, then you get that title insurance and you make sure that all is well. Land can be a little funky sometimes and we have done that personally and then we tried to sell it and issues came up that the title company that we bought it through didn't catch. And so, you know, still, you know, ask questions, especially if it's in places where, like Oklahoma, um, a lot of property is like Indian territory. And it was given to certain people and in certain Indian um, tribes, and it's been passed down. So those properties have some, they have some underlying things that you need to check. So if you're dealing with Indian land, just be aware. <laughs> um, all right, so that, that is a way that costs money, but it's the best way to do it. Now, if you want to still pay, but pay a little bit less, do a title search. So if you find a property you, you're like, 90% sure you're going to purchase, I would say just go ahead and do a title search if you want to make sure that the title is clear and everything is good. It's about $100, $200 and you do it through a title company. We've had people do that um, on properties that they've purchased from us. It takes, it does take a few weeks, um, but that is another lower cost option if you want to make sure all is well with the property um, and you want to buy it or do owner financing through an owner. Now, the next thing that you can do, if you don't wanna spend any money, this is free, is contact the county and ask the county questions. Ask, the, the, ask questions about the taxes, ask questions about the land. What can you do on it? What can you not? What are the restrictions? All of that is information that is for the public. You can get a copy of the deed emailed straight to you. It's free, so why not take advantage of those free, that free data, and and just look it up. Sometimes um, some counties have all this information provided on online, but a lot of those smaller rural places do not, and you do just have to talk to them and um, talk to them over the phone. Or if you're in the area, you can even stop by and ask questions and, and see the information for yourself. Um, what was I, I was gonna say that when you contact the county, um, make sure you have the property's parcel number or APN number. That is how they reference the property or through the previous owner's name or the current owner's name, but if they own multiple properties, it's a little harder. So in order to for the county to know what property you're referencing, just you will need a number, the parcel number, APN number, different people call it different things. So these are ways that you can do due diligence if you find a property that you like on social media, on Zillow, um, or anything like that. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment. Otherwise, subscribe and keep listening to more information about land. Peace.